Hello Year 4. So today we're going to have a look at making shapes, specifically rectilinear shapes, which if you remember are shapes made out of squares and rectangles like these ones, they could all be split into squares and rectangles, okay, and where all of the vertices, all of the corners are 90 degrees, okay. So we're going to try and make those out of squares. Now, when we're looking at rectilinear shapes and making them, you do need to remember that this bit here is fine because the two squares meet at a side. If they meet at a vertice at a corner, that's not okay. okay? That means that this altogether is not a 2D shape okay? because they're meeting at a corner. Okay, so that doesn't count. It's got to meet on a side when you're making these. All right. So I'm going to see how many shapes I can make using four squares. Okay. You will need squares for this lesson. And in the presentation on the website, I've gone through how you might get some. And there's also a link to an online area builder where you can just do the squares online and build different shapes. Okay. So, I'm going to start with one, two, three, four. Okay, now they're all along the sides. We're going to pretend I've lined that up really carefully so it matches perfectly. Now, one thing to remember is that that is the same shape as that, and that, and that and X so forth because I've just rotated it. So when you're making these shapes, it might be an idea that when you make one, you draw it in your book using the squares in your book to help you and a ruler if you've got one or another straight edge if you don't. Make sure I would use four squares in my book for this. So draw it and then when you do a new one, if you think it might be the same shape as one you've already done, you could just walk around it or turn your book if they, your squares all fit in your book and you're doing it there to see if it does look the same as that shape that you've already drawn. All right. But so don't that right now I'm going to work systematically. That means I'm going to work really logically and step by step. So instead of just moving them all over the place, I'm going to think so that I can try and not miss any. So I'm going to start with that one. So I've got one. My first one. Second one, I'm going to move this one, and I think I'm going to start by putting it there. So if I put that there, okay, that's my second shape, okay, which would be the same as that shape and that shape, okay. But when I did that, it wouldn't be the same necessarily as me moving this one here. So if we move it upside down, look, it's over here, isn't it? Not over there. So if we move this, so it was here, so if I move it to there, here, I know that that is a different shape because I've tried turning it. So there's my third shape. I'm then, so I think I've done all the ones that I can move this one to the middle as well. That would be a different shape. And if I turn it, oh yeah, upside down, that shape has got it above, hasn't it? So if I move that to here, that would be the same shape. Okay. Now, I think I've moved that to all of its options around because I'm not allowed to do corners. So I am going to put that there again and see what I can do if I move the next one. And I'm going to start by putting it there. So there's another shape, like that. Try putting it there, yeah, that's a different shape, isn't it? Put it there, yeah, so there's a different shape. And I can put that one there, that's a different shape. Okay, so you can keep going like that, and just how many different shapes can you make with the same area. So I've looked at shapes today, rectilinear shapes, with an area, area of four squares. Okay, and again, it doesn't matter what size your squares are, as long as they are the same size as each other. Okay.
okay so four squares okay and that is the main name of today's lesson so have a go and hopefully you enjoy it okay bye